Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing the preparation of potassium iodate. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because in some of my first videos I produced a copper complex in the plus 3 oxidation state, which involved potassium per iodate, and I synthesized potassium per iodate from potassium iodate. And the potassium iodate I used back then I bought online, but now I want to show its synthesis. So, what you'll need is potassium chlorate and iodine. Potassium chlorate and iodine. First step is going to be to dissolve some potassium chlorate in water in this Erlenmeyer flask. Alright, after you've dissolved your potassium chlorate in hot water, add a few drops of concentrated nitric acid to bring the pH of the solution down to about 2. After this is done, you can start adding your elemental iodine. This will convert the iodine to iodate while producing some chlorine and chlorine dioxide. So be very careful and work outside. Alright, now we can see the reaction beginning to start with the iodine boiling around in the solution. As soon as the iodine stops dissolving, the reaction is complete. Also, we can see some iodine vapor leaving the flask. Uh, so this will affect our yield if we lose some iodine to vapor. To get around this, you can put a reflux condenser up there and then scrape it back down periodically. Um, or you can just you know, accept the loss of yield. If the uh, vapor gets too much, I will uh, put a beaker on top of there to collect the iodine. But for now, just continue to boil the solution and add iodine until it stops dissolving. Alright, the solution was boiled and iodine was added until the iodine stopped dissolving. Anyway, the solution was continued to boil to remove any chlorine or chlorine dioxide products that dissolved in the water. And this brown precipitate was uh, observed. This is not your product. The next step is going to be to add potassium hydroxide solution until the solution becomes basic. Uh, this will destroy... Um, an intermediate product that's formed in acidic conditions. So, some potassium hydroxide is taken up and added to the mixture. You see the solution darken. Continue to do this and take pH tests until the solution becomes basic. So, just up. You can see that we're still very much acidic. So I'll get back to you once uh, the solution becomes basic. All right, I filtered my product to get rid of most of the brown impurity, uh, but you can see the solution is still kind of brown. The next step is going to be to crystallize out my product of potassium iodate. Um, as you can see, I'm inside now because it started raining outside. Uh, it's been a big problem for me in my workspace is the weather. So I'm going to stick this in my freezer and hope to crystallize out some potassium iodate. However, it's possible that the solution got too dilute um, during the process and that I'll need to boil it down a little bit before that happens. So I'll get back to you. Okay, so crystallization didn't work the first time, so I boiled down the solution from a little over 50 milliliters to about 25 milliliters. So I'm going to stick this in the freezer again and see if I can crystallize out some potassium iodate. Okay, boiling away that extra liquid did the trick because I got um, really good crystallization when I stuck it in the freezer. So the uh, remaining solution still has that yellow impurity. And I can uh, decant it off, and I'll be left with my product of potassium iodate. So, if you want a more pure product, you can uh, wash with ice cold water to um, remove any of that brown impurity. So, anyway, those crystals in there are of potassium iodate. 
Uh, credit for this procedure goes to the members of Science Madness, who helped me out and not only gave me the procedure, but taught me the science behind it. So I want to thank them for that. Anyway, go ahead and give this a try, and then uh, see if you can go all the way to making my Cobra Complex from it. Thanks for watching.